What's up, Squirrelgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Sorry about the lack thereof of videos this past week. Um, it was really just like a couple ranked matches. Actually, the ranked matches might have been pushing into the week before last week, and um, the top plays of the week. But this week, to make for that, I'll try to have a video every single day. And um, I made it back onto the weekly winners. Only third place, though. I barely got third place. I got it with like. Um, just a couple minutes left and then um, Tajik uh, was like one rating behind me and then he uh, lost right before so um, that was pretty close and I thought I had an outside shot of winning two weekly winners winning this weekly winner as well um, because I won like 40 or 50 ranked matches this week but Crab Familiar won 82 so I wasn't close to that and I'm not sure if anybody has won uh, two weekly winners in one week yet in scrolls it would obviously have to include one of these and then one of the one, two, or three spots. This is most wins of the week in ranked, if you didn't know. So today we are going to play. Oh, this is weird. Like sometimes this gets like reset. I like to keep it around like 20, but sometimes it randomly goes up to so, like 71. But today we're going to do judgment. Haven't done one in a while, so it should be fun. I had an epic, my last one was an epic 5-0 Irva one, I had an undead deck with Irva, it was around Irva, it was so good. And so far this one, doesn't look, no, nothing's popping out at me. Um, definitely, there's some okay creatures like Copper Auto, Irva Creator, Earthworm Keeper, and Crossbowman. Um, I think I'll take the Copper Automaton because it's the most versatile, it could be splashed or it can be an energy deck, so I'll take the Copper Automaton. And a Gravelock Guard, so we have some Gravelocks here, so I think I'm just gonna, and we have the Energy Guy here, so I think we'll just start by going with those these Gravelocks, see where it takes us. Feedback Shell is not too bad, neither is Storm Knight though. So Crossman, I'm just gonna take here, because it's not like anything else, anything else in this row is uh, too strong. So I'll just take the Crossman. Now we have um, Fertile Soil and Ilmer Rot Eater. Always it's nice to take a creature, but I have absolutely nothing else that's decay. And Fertile Soil, I don't have any, I could take the Brother of the Wolf and Fertile Soil. But seeing as I already have two energy things, I think it's wise to go with the Gravelock Guard. So I'll start by taking Gravelock Guard. And now I see, this won't change my mind about what's coming next. Here I will take the, I should probably just take the creature, the Storm Knight. Because, um, I mean, removal and Judgment is awesome. But... Feedback Joel's a little unreliable because you need it to be enchanted. So. But I do have a lot of energy stuff already. So, you know, I'll take the Feedback Joel. I'll be a little risky here and um, hope that I get more energy stuff coming up. So, I'll take the Feedback Joel. And now, there's a Yarl and Nog. So, we definitely have decent growth stuff. So, now it makes me want to take the Fertile Soil over the uh, Rod Deer because I have absolutely nothing in Decay. So, it's really. Not much of a point for me to take the uh, Rod Eater. I know I don't have growth stuff either, but at least there's Yarl and Nog down here, which are pretty decent creatures. So I'll take the Fertile Soil, and there's another Gravelock, and then there is a Kinfolk Ranger here. This row, um, Fodder Pit would just give my like my like, Gravelock Guard plus two attack, not too useful, but Hollis is really bad, and Callback isn't too good either. So I'll just take the Fodder Pit, because, I mean, it could go with Order. I don't think I'm going to be going with all I have across them in, and I don't really like going with Order usually in Judgment. It doesn't really work that well for me in Judgment. So I'll just take the Fodder Pit. Um, now we have more energy stuff in here, including a, a Snurgle Omelet. Interesting. Plating can get me into another faction. Or I can go for the big 7 drop. I do have a lot of energy, though, so I think I want to stay in energy, so I think I will take the Plating. And plating can get me into another faction, so I'll take that. Hopefully I get like a grave like elder, that'd be so good. Um hmm. I'll just take the raider here. And honestly, in judgment, clock is probably better than Snorkel Omelet. But I want to take the Snorkel Omelet with me after I win a couple games, so I'll take the Snorkel Omelet. And another Raider. Alright, we need some machinades or something. There's a spark here, which is good. I'll grab the... I don't know. Callback, doesn't really matter. 
Uh, there's a good amount of order stuff here. Maybe I should have gone with order. I don't know. These are like bigger order drops. These energy drops are really low. I want us to have some stronger energy creatures. Um, it's not too late to go into order. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna stick with energy. I'm gonna take the clock right over the raider. We already have three one drops. So I'll just take the clock library. And iron whip isn't too bad. So I'll take that here. I don't know, electrify. I'm gonna stick with energy still. I'm pulling for energy. I'm not really getting some like, I want some like iron ogres. I want some like big things. Actually not iron ogres yet because that's a little too, too big. I want like three drops, four drops and five drops first. But um, we're only a quarter of the way into the draft so it's not a huge deal so far. Uh, all of these cards kind of suck. I'll just take Catapult of Goo. Um, Iron Whip. Another Iron Whip. Yeah, I think we should have gotten Order maybe because it's Knight Sergeant too. Uh, Rot Eater. Skull Shrine. Alright, Infernal Blast is decent removal. I'd rather have it over the Useless Contraption. Another Iron Whip, so I have a nice countdown reduction. Skull Shrine will get me more energy, so I'll just grab. I have so much energy, just. It's not that bad, but I mean, I need. These Relentless uh, Raiders are no good with only one attack. So, I mean, if I Iron Whip them, then sure, they have two attack, but it's really. I really need. I need to find some strong energy units. Right. Lockling Brood, that's okay, I'll take that. Um, sure, rigged. I mean, I'm just going with energy here. Wicked Bean could be a cool splash because I could just use it and have like a little Darkling. So I get that. Lockling Brood. Oh, we should have gone with Order. See, there's like a Skirmisher here. Um, I'll take the Kabonk. The New Order is a charge coil which is decent another feedback draw. i'll take it over the grave lock right away a lot of so many low drops focus isn't, isn't too bad because of all our relentless guys so now charge coil feedback jolt Ugh, where is energy stuff we have so many look at look at this curve one two three four i'll take the flip focus Focus. I mean, a lot of focuses. This isn't actually too bad anymore. Um, let's replenish. I think this might be useful. All right, there we go. Forge is nice. Forge is really nice. So I'll grab the forge. Another guard. There's an outcast. Effect. Come on, just so many grave locks. Just give me an elder, please. That would be so amazing. Um, I'll grab the shrine. I mean, Tick Bomb's not too bad, but I think I want the three drop considering I barely have anything that's not a one drop or like a two drop. How many creatures do I have? Only seven creatures? That's it? I thought I had more. Well, proximity charge isn't that bad. Sorry about that. Um, I guess I'll take some of this order stuff then. Or Blast Strike can be pretty fun to use, so I'm just going to grab the Blast Strike. Oh, come on, give me creatures, please. Metal Heart. Okay, this is a pretty bad judgment draft. I'm probably gonna lose like two games in a row with this. Hmm. I have Eagle, I might need it. Uh, Lachlan Brood. Maybe I'll end up with like getting like three elders at the end, who knows. Then this is an amazing deck. If not, this is a pretty darn bad deck. Well, do I dare take another fodder pit when I only have a couple units with pillage? Sure. <sighs> well, that's it. Our strongest creatures are Lockling Broods, and they can be destroyed in an instant. And I'll take the Copper Automaton. With Iron Whips and the Copper Automatons, maybe this is to be a really aggressive deck. Okay, that's the idea. Aggressive deck. Um, sure, Horn of Ages. And... 
an aggressive deck, why are we having like clock cloud reset? Whatever. All right, let's see if we can at least win one game with this deck. Um, honestly, the the Rontless Raiders won't be that bad because Gravelocks do even without the Elder, they have okay stats. Our Forge is not that bad. Um, putting the stuff I definitely want right now. So I only have two units with Pillage, right? I don't know if I want the Omelette. Well, the Omelette can get good card draw. It would just take the creatures out of my deck, though. I don't know. I'll have to think about playing it. Um, Blast Jet can be funny. I'm gonna, I want that in the deck. That's all I definitely want. Let's see. We definitely... I think Order is what we're going to be with. Because Growth... Eh. Okay, yeah. So let's see, we want definitely all three focuses. Why not a New Orders and a Horn of Ages? Looks good. And then, maybe just a crossbow, maybe we need another creature. Should I keep it at one drops? I should probably keep it at one drops. And then I could have a Ragged Wolf, or I can put a Wicked Being so I can leave an idol with, with two healthy. I'm gonna do it. I'm not going to wild anyways. Actually, well, I am using, I'm getting wild for my replenish stuff. Okay. This is the deck, and it's bad. But I think we might be able to win a game. Okay. So, let's just name this Bad Grave Locks. Yeah, you know it's Bad Grave Locks if you don't have Grave Lock Elder. Because then they're all just running around without their, uh, without their, uh, Grandmaster Elder. And I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, found a match. Alright, Action Holic. Here we go. So, I guess this is a good hand because I can just go Raider. I'm gonna get rid of the Snargol. I don't wanna empty my. I don't wanna empty my, uh, deck of all of its creatures. So, turn one Raider GG. Just kidding. This deck sucks. I'm gonna put Soda so many grave locks down, he's gonna think an elder's coming, but then no elder's ever gonna show up. Um, this deck would actually do really well against a tech that does not have a lot of enchantments. Um, because I can just have those Lockling Broods go to work. Okay. Apparently, Action Holic's deck is um, very old. He said, "So I don't think we should expect any of the new scrolls." But um, but he is two and zero with it, so it's definitely decent. Yeah, so. Let's stay on our toes here. And next turn, probably sacrifice resources to play a raider, unless I top deck like a outcast, and then I can go with a lockling brood the next turn. Hopefully, he doesn't have like random Alan Vitals to kill it. Okay. Focus. I don't like getting rid of these focuses, but whatever. I don't have any other ways to buff these guys' attack besides focus. It's not the worst, right? Honestly, I think like this guard is more valuable than that raider, so I'll go like that. I'm not gonna go down and engage. Remember, this is an aggressive deck. Its highest costed things are four resources, so. So he got the two drop down. Hopefully, it doesn't ha Hopefully, it doesn't follow up with like a breaker or a frost beard or. Wildling is bad as well. Ooh. I think it's more important that we get down the forge than the Lockling Brood. I could try to, like, roll the dice and hope it doesn't have anything to destroy the Lockling Brood. But I think it's uh, in our best interest to get a forge down. I keep forgetting about the forge. I think it, that, that might be the savvier of this deck. So let's get that for some nice protection. And I'll nice, hit the wildling. So now, because the wildling takes pure damage, um, 
you will likely not be able to get too, of a too high of an attack before dying. So if it doesn't buff uh, its health, at the very best it's going to be like a Kinfolk Brave. Or I mean just something with two attack. He's going for order. Okay. Okay, well that's going to give him some extra health. And he is engaging. So... Is it bad that I sacrificed that focus? If I had a focus right now, what would that do for me? Focus, then... Um... I would... So you, let's just say you're at 3 health. B is your dead. And you just use 1, so that's 3. Nah, I wouldn't destroy the row, so... Now, I think Feedback Jolt is going to be pretty good. I don't think we're going to be waiting for a Clock Library to count down with this. I mean, I might want to play the Clock Library to get it. Yeah, I'm actually going to... No, I'm going to actually play the Lockling Brood as protection. Or no. Let's get rid of the Feedback Jolt. Because we haven't seen any enchantments yet. We have another Feedback Jolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to lower this guy's, these two guys in the back health and use this Locking Brood as protection. It's good to use the Locking Brood as protection because... um. I mean, it could be destroyed by a spell, but any damage it takes kind of doesn't matter that much. It could, it could die from like a like a little spell anyways. So, you know. Focus gets rid of it, and if he has a creature, this dies too. So that was, oh no, he did not place it next to that, so now it doesn't die. Good. Proximity charge, ooh, I think we're going to want to play that. Instead of the clock library, maybe I can get him to like die. So I will. Play the proximity. How do I make it so there's like a hundred percent chance? I can't make it a hundred percent chance. Actually, no. Yeah, if I put it right here, it's gonna spawn hopefully up here. All right, good. The cloud machines are out, and let's see what it hits. Hopefully, the wildling. Okay, good. So now you really can't put anything next to it, and he has to come up and hit the forge, or else his things die. But then I have these two raiders coming at him, but I don't have any way to buff their relentless attack. But he doesn't know that. He probably thinks I have like machinated in hand. But I told him my deck was pretty bad. Ruse. Okay. So these guys a little attack that will hurt okay so he is going to move up and hmm I'll get rid of the new orders for scrolls I don't really want to just lose stuff because of the stupid ruse I don't think it's worth it for me to do that let's just move down he can sacrifice the ranger and then use the wildling to kill this. If he does that, oh well. And let's get a charge coil down, not a clock library. I'm not being being entirely efficient with my resources by playing the three drop instead of the four drop. But I think the clock library is going to be pretty important. I might be able to like take up a wildling or something. Okay, so that takes out the gun on him. This guy's attacking every turn. So let's hope that this I, will, I get the 1 in 3 chance to hit this wildling. Or actually, I'm going to probably hit uh, an idol with a gravelock guard to also have another chance at hitting the wildling. And let's get rid of the wicked being. Um... He oh he actually played the eternal sword so I can get rid of it with feedback jolt. Honestly, I don't think that's worth it though. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, I'm just going to hit the idol and start a clock lever tick down up top. Come on, hit the wildling! Come on, hit the wildling! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, awesome. That was a really risky play by me. Well, I mean, 
Nothing judgments that risky because chances are your opponent doesn't have the answers. Okay, so I think I'm actually in a good spot this match unless he has like frost scales and quakes. Which like I said, you can't expect he has any scrolls in judgment because it's judgment. So it looks like he's gonna go up there. I guess I should protect this a little bit. Eh, I don't know. Feedback jolt. Oh, you have a thermal source. I can use the feedback jolt there. But I don't actually kill it. So, if this guy was attacking this turn, I would use the feedback jolt because then this ranger would die. Or actually, if I feedback jolt, you die, and then you get. Then you're gonna. No, and then the charge scroll would hit it, but it wouldn't die. So let's get rid of the crossbowman for scrolls. And. Inferno Blast. I don't know, I can't really play anything or else it's gonna get hit. Let's just play an Inferno Blast. No, I'm not gonna play Inferno Blast. I'll just protect this thing with like a guard. Now that I think about it, I probably should have just played a Gravelock Raider. I probably should have just played a Gravelock Raider. I mean, what am I talking about? Gravelock Outcast. Mixing up my scrolls today. Okay, so... That's pretty good that he did that because he will kill my guy up there, but... Now Feedback Jolt will destroy both of those. And hopefully it doesn't connect uh, a creature to this Kinfolk Ranger. That would be ideal. And he does, oh well. So this, the, uh, the, that will still survive. Or no, it won't, because I'm just going to iron whip it so that it goes down. Right? Yeah, if I iron whip it, it goes down. So let's get rid of the all Inferno Blast. For resources, so I can play Feedback Troll and Iron Whip. I move in so I can start dealing damage to more of Center Idol. And this clock is going to continue to go down. So let's go ahead and Iron Whip you. And then Feedback Jolt. So now, you die and goodbye Eternal Sword. And now, we just hope he doesn't have any board clear stuff. And if he doesn't, he'll probably just surrender. Because then he has no real way of going back in the game because of this charge coil attacking every turn and this thing's going to go off soon. And the proximity charges are protecting that charge coil. So, I hope that I can win soon because in case he has like those board clear stuff. And that spiky guy is going to be a problem for me. And then, an Earthborn Mystic. I just have to hope he doesn't have any big, big threat that I'm going to see soon. That would be, that would be bad. Um, let's get rid of Blast Strike, as cool as it might be. Let's... Let's spread the damage, get some copper autos out, fill up the board here, and let's see if Action Holic, what he's going to do. He only has one scroll, because he was ramping up into like wild and stuff, so he kind of ran out of scrolls. That's what happens in scrolls when you... Uh, Try to go for multi-resource, it kind of drains your uh, scrolls because you're spending time and tempo um, to get into the other faction. Oh, unfortunately... Whoops. Well, I guess... I don't know, but the proximity charts means that I can't move down with this Copper Automaton. And... So I can... Can I win this turn? I don't think so. So I can move down like this, kill you, and then I guess I can focus and then kill that. So I'll just do that. 
and deal damage to that idol. Um, or I could just spark. I could spark and focus. Okay, let's do that. Let's get order. And now let's go for a focus and a spark. And that's a board clear. GGWP. So I was able to win with this deck. Quite surprised. Hopefully I can get at least a couple more. So maybe I can just grab that Snarble Omelette and go. But that'll be it for today. So um, thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll try to have a video for you guys every single day this week. So make sure you keep checking back. And I will see you all tomorrow. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.